Hello everybody and welcome back to our Ghost of Tsushima playthrough. This is episode 26. So last time we got over here to the Komatsu Forge, rescued a few peasants. Today we're going to bring them back to the forge proper. Um, this time not running into the Mongolians and fighting an entire army on my own. I gotta say, um, I really enjoy the stealth mechanics because I'm pretty decent with the combat, or at least I've got the basics mastered, and I'm decent enough to deal to get by with the basics at least with the difficulty i'm on um but the stealth feature makes it that much harder for me and i like the challenge my love thank you i thought i lost you are you hurt that man fought like an animal or a demon i'm no demon I'm facing mongols i'm sure i would probably Go get you stay close You know what, I'm actually going to take a different route. I could do a stupid standoff. That'll just get them killed. I've learned my lesson. Misdirection is better. See how clever I am. Actually, could I just slide out and then return from the northern way? Is that a viable strategy? Or will the peasantry not follow? They're not going to follow. Which means we have to do this the tough way. Might actually be smarter to not go this way. Buddy. All right, should be fine sneaking this way or not. I think I might be smarter heading this way. Where do we have to go? You know, let's try to blitz it. I hope this works. Run all the way through. I think this will work. Thank you, my lord. Of course. 
Yeah. Now for the here. fun part. Where is Yuna? She went to get a family from the house across the river. Hasn't come back. Damn. Don't light the forge until we come back. Alright, this will be fun. Speak with uh, Taka. Find Yuna. Alright, and unlike before, I'm actually more willing when I don't have people to protect to do things like standoffs. Like, doing this is fine when... Whoops, reload last checkpoint. I forgot to hold R2. But yeah, I'm more willing to do things that could be considered generally more reckless when I'm a solo boy. He got me good. Well, let's just start dealing with you guys one at a time. Ooh, get wrecked, buddy. Wait, who's aiding us? Oh, Yuna. Alright, well, effective way of finding Yuna. Just going in and doing a stupid challenge. Or at least a reckless challenge. Okay, I was trying to hit him. Okay, that guy was generally pretty good until Yuna ended him. Wow, right as I went for the, um, for the dog. Break the sword, or break the shield, and then break you. Point blank arrow shot. Hey, Yuna. Was that a bit reckless? Maybe. Was that worth it? Yes. I had like no arrows left. More supplies. That looks like a dead samurai. Okay, so it looks like we're following Yuna now. Interrogator. Actually, yeah, they have gone. They've gone right outside to kill your men. Oof, idiot. Oh, I attacked Yuna on accident, thinking that she was an enemy leader. Whoopsies. Not really. That was just fun. You, you saved us. This fight's not over. Can you make it to the forge? Yes. I think so. Everyone stay close to me. Oh, great. Sorry for any background noise, by the way. Alrighty. It's a long story. The way he killed him. He's not human. Maybe you're right. <laughs> They're just running right by me. Idiots. Let's see if we can get most of the way there. Alright, we got most of the way there with no problems whatsoever. Now watch this. Cool little side steps.
Oh, there they are. I was about to, I was about to get worried that they didn't follow my, uh, my shortcut. Here's everyone else. Thank the gods. Speak to Taka. Like the forge, Taka. What about the Mongols? They won't risk destroying this place. That gives us a chance to kill them all. If they don't kill us first. Either way, this is where we make our stand. Light the forge, that way I can go murder them. That's really how this feels. Oh, they're using a water wheel. Interesting. Yeah, they see us. Hi. Hi. This guy's not bad. Not good enough, but not bad. Help me kill them. Mongols are in the forge. We have to stop them. Mongol doggies are in the forge. Oh wow, this thing's annoying. Mess. I think that is, that's my missing doggo. I probably should use a sticky bomb, but I'm having way too much fun. Oh, you wanna hit me like that, buddy? I'm gonna finish you off. Got a predator hide. Die. You're just getting wrecked? Call the samurai boy. And he'll just swing his sword until the mongol can't move. Wait, oh, there's another guy in here. I didn't see this one. Impressive work. <gasps> mongol archers? Hi! Tell Tomoe I said hi. And also... I'm terribly sorry that I have to murder you all. Not. Why are you targeting me? Surely Yuna's the bigger threat? You didn't even have spare arrows. Break the guard. Someone's mad at me. Man. Arrows and more predator hides. Here's the leader. I really want to sticky bomb him, but I know it's not going to be enough. So let's just start slashing, and then I'll sticky bomb him. Got him. Leader killed. 
Killer Observe, four more leaders to unlock win stance, because we got four out of eight. I believe that will be the end of the... Nope. As with every medieval battle or feudal battle, still got to mop up the archers. Uh, bye bye, Mongol. They're scared. Let's be real, Yuna did a lot of work there, but the majority of that was just me swinging. I've never seen a samurai fight like that. It was nothing. Humble. You are more than a samurai. He is a vengeful spirit. Back from the grave to slaughter the Mongols. Quick pause here. Smart morale maneuver, um, and possibly true, actually, because we don't actually know if we lived or died or whatever. We could have died and then come back to life to do this. Um, who knows? But the, the guaranteed thing that will happen is our legend will grow. Where do we hide now? You don't. Fire up your forge. And get back to making strong Komatsu weapons. That's how we fight back. That's how we'll save Lord Shimura. That's how we'll free Shimura, you dumb shit. Sorry for the cursing, but that's just uh... I think they liked it. Perhaps. You should have said that's how we'll save Tsushima. What a wasted opportunity from Jin Sakai, I can't turn a phrase. Or Jin, I can't turn a phrase, Sakai. Hammer and Forge, though, is completed, and we got another technique point. That's excellent. Two more to go, and then we'll have another upgrade. Will there be a cutscene, or will we have to rescue the Straw Hats first? Cutscene, Castle Kanada. I read that Samurai follow a path of honor. Then why have my men found their brothers stabbed in the back? Lord Sakai would never resort to such tactics. War brings out who we truly are. It has made you a dog, unleashed by your cousin Kublai to rape and pillage at his command. Your nephew strays from the warrior's path. You will become what you hate. Unless you join my empire's fight for peace. You don't want allies. You want soldiers to overthrow the Shogun. Consider my offer. Help your nephew regain his honor before his cowardice goes too far. And before I bring you his head. At this point, we're going to bring... Shimura's going to bring... Finishes what he's working on. At the graveyard. I mean, at this point, it's going to be Koten Khan who whose head is brought to us by Lord Shimmer. Uh, I mean, I swear, one of these one of these encounters, uh, Koten's going to push it a bit too far. And I think, um, like, here's the thing: I have stabbed a couple of them in the back, but for the most part, I've just landed on their faces. Like they've seen me before I've taken them down. I feel like. Pointing that out. Oh. Wait, so what's going on? Um, let's go to journal. So we're waiting for what he's doing. So let's do Tale of Ryuzu. Or Ryuzu. However, first of all, I want to fast travel to the... Whoa, that was an explosion of stuff. Now that uh, Komatsu Forge is liberated. Two out of 24. Um, we've now got a Sashim Sashimono banner. Komatsu Bamboo Strike, a Fox Den. I assume that banner is what we're trying to be led to. A legend storyteller and more stuff to learn about. Oh wait, I didn't mean to go to the legend storyteller. Not quite, my friend. I must find um 
Wait, what am I missing? Journal. Um, neat. Oh, yeah, in the cemetery. We're a long ways away from that, obviously. Oh, it's the same key item. It's getting annoying. But I'm just heading to places where I can upgrade and prepare. I'm curious as to whether or not this gift will be bigger than before. I think it might be. We got Avenging Lord, won by a lord whose brutality was infamous. And Thief's Wrap, for those wishing to stay anonymous. Plus five times leather, we got gear updated, two upgrades available, five times steel as well. Five times you would. Fifteen linen. Fifteen iron, holy crap, they really pitched in for this one. Fifteen bamboo, and then fifteen supplies. Nope. Alright, well I quickly want to go to my gear because I'm going to make a change to my outfit. I'm going to use the Avenging Lord because I think it looks cooler. Or at least more... F I think it looks stupider actually. But I like that. Alright, so I can get the Katana up or the Tonto. Speed and Stealth. Um, let's... Focus on the katana. Sharper than ever. Farewell. Alright, I think that is everything at the Golden Temple. However, there was a legendary storyteller. I think it was over here. Um, let's go speak to this guy because I want to see if he has the story that I want. Oh, it's always the same guy. Alright, then I think next episode we'll go do this legendary storyteller story here in the Golden Temple. I swear I saw the form of an Oni on the horizon as the sun set. It reminds me of yet another story. What happens if I leave and then come back? Like literally pull a fast one on him. I'm gonna end my episode in a second here, but I wanna see what that storyteller is saying. Sensei Ishikawa came over here? Is that what they said? I couldn't hear. She fights with the bravery of ten men. But they say the samurai is working with a woman. And she's... The ghosts once protected Tsushima from a grave threat. Let me tell you of the trials they faced. Oh, this is entering Legends mode. Okay, so that's something different than what I'm looking for. Um, Hiyoshi Hot Springs. We also have the Curse of Uchitsune. Okay, and we also have the legend of Tatoyori. What I want to find, though, actually, um, oh, there's a mythic tale. Legend of Tatoyori, the curse of Ichusini. I want to do the heavenly strike. Komatsu, find the musician there. Um... So let me head over to here, because I'm pretty sure I'll find the... I once knew a man who claimed to make a deal with a penguin. It wasn't long before he disappeared. Alright, this is where I'm going to end the episode. Thank you guys all for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Till then.